biggest challenge in, in my view is one of inefficiencies. We've done a lot of work over the years in reducing total costs of ownership of vehicles and to transport goods from A to B. But I think we've missed one fundamental issue, and that is the fact that our process is actually relatively inefficient. Why is it so difficult for transport companies to generate profit? Well, this is, this is the answer. What can we do in reality? Trucking, of course, is affected by the same mega trends as other parts of the industry, you know, as the car industry, basically, which is digitalization, um, autonomous driving, uh, shared services, you can say, and connectivity. Another um, element that you might have heard of is uh, platooning for heavy trucks, and that means you put uh, more than one truck uh, behind each other, two, three, maybe four trucks. Only in the first truck you will have a driver, the second, the third, the fourth truck potentially follow the first one automatically, autonomously, uh, radar driven. Um, and the advantage of course is you need less uh, drivers and you also need less space because you need to uh, maintain a certain distance um, to the first vehicle but not as much as today when you have a driver in the second and third car. So by taking the driver out of course that brings the total cost of ownership down and makes the whole business more, more attractive. But we believe platooning will first be on the motorways um, relatively soon, within the next two to three years actually. There's lots of tests going on and that's very encouraging, they're very encouraging, so it's, uh, it's coming. We see the possibilities of autonomous looking uh, really positive in the supply chain, especially with um, uh, self-driving vehicles such as drones and delivery bots. Of course, a lot of the use cases that we are seeing right now, they are mostly within the last mile of the supply chain, but it could potentially be used in the first mile as well, or even in the middle mile with the possibilities with autonomous truck and truck platooning, so on and so forth. Whether it's autonomous trucks or drones or delivery bots, um, there are a lot of uh, innovative companies out there and uh, technologies mature enough uh, to be commercially deployed. Combining um, vans and drones is, of course, an interesting topic. And depending on the use case, drones offer certain benefits. Um, of course, their main USP is speed. Uh, drones are able to travel um, linear um, routes in an aerial manner, which allows them to cover larger distances within shorter uh, spans of time, which makes them faster than traditional modes of delivery, such as trucks. So the drones are flying with the parcel from the warehouse to the city area, land on the van's roof, and then the van drives the last meters to the end consumers. So this basically adds safety to the system and enables the end consumer to use drone flights without investing into any infrastructure. It's not many times in a lifetime that you have the opportunity to re make really a change to, in this case, it can change the entire planet.